throw it all together. And as my mother would say, why are you wearing that costume? Yeah. Why are you wearing that costume? (laughs) Welcome to another episode of Just the Tips with Katie and Katie. Hello. Hello, best friend. Hello, best friend. (laughs) Today we are going to take fashion tips out of the September issue of Vogue magazine. Uh, uh, so classy. (laughs) The tips for today's episode come from a spread called Ragged Glory, all about a band of merry pranksters caravanning their rock and roll looks across the English countryside. Okay, Ragged Glory. To me, that sounds like a really heart-wrenching movie about an army general with Alzheimer's. Like it, but like a Sundance darling. It looks like these merry pranksters are having fun. We want in. We want in on this caravan. Well, I don't know if they look like people I want to hang out with. I want to be in that scene and wearing those clothes, for sure. Yeah. I want to go there the day after they've left. (laughs) There are so many ponies. It's dotted with ponies. I mean, you and I have said and will always say that um, a woman's best accessory is a wild horse. So, agree. Do you know what face you make right before you die from the kick of a wild stallion? You nonchalance and boredom. You look away because you don't give a what. You don't even care. Tip number one, wild horses, shaggy fur coats, sleek black leather, biker boots, not a tame beast in the bunch. So shaggy fur coats and sleek black leather. Uh, I don't have either of those things, do you? No, I've actively avoided those things. Ticket to ride. Sweater dressing goes bohemian with a combination of light floral layers and chunky knits. You know, the problem with that is I feel like chunky knit, chunky lady, you have to be really careful. Could you do, uh, here, just get, hear me out, hear me out if you do like something like that. I don't know, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll throw on a beanie. That's really the best I can do. Okay. Great. When you're selling up your wardrobe for a season, take a cue from grunge icon Kurt Cobain, whose signature flannel shirt is now a staple. Done! Easy, I can do that. Yeah, I've been waiting for this trend to come back around for a while now. This is actually a huge relief. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, aggregate. What are you taking from this? I'm going to try and spend... Um, less than or equal to zero dollars for this. I am hosting a clothing swap on Sunday, so I will simply pilfer from the free clothes. I think this is super doable. I like mixing patterns, too. I think that looks just crazy enough. But you know what? This whole thing, spirit of the law, not the letter of the law. You know what I mean? Maybe there's an opportunity for a nod to a chunky knit. I'll find some maniac stranger to, to take a picture of me and you know at like the cool coffee shop just loose limbs everything like no uh. i'm gonna go to that new trailer and just eat gluten-free biscuits you know what i'm also gonna be gluten-free when i wear this do we look like idiots maybe i don't know tell me about your outfit This is a floral dress from Target that I got at a clothing swap. Underneath, I have this flannel shirt tucked up to the top. So let me just give you the whole effect. Okay. I mean, good enough. This is, okay, this look is very real. It's also very hot. I have just, I have a floral dress on with the flannel, as you did, on the outside. What? And then I did this um, pleather motorcycle vest. Thank you. 
I bought this in a very low moment. People of America, listen to me when I tell you to buy a plastic motorcycle vest. Oh, that's fun. Let me get in on that. And then you do like a thing. Gosh, you look legit with that thing on. That's generous. I'm, I'm, it's really hot. It's super hot. There's a lot of shearling, um, an uncomfortable amount of shearling. This kind of went okay. Against all odds, successful achievement of goals completed. Can we high five? 